know too much about feminism. I just think of uh, women trying to make sure that they're not treated unfairly and really get uh, their side of things because male, males are usually the dominant force. Feminism is about uh, women's rights, I feel like. And uh, a quote that I heard one time is, women's rights are human rights and human rights are women's rights. And so uh, just empowering women so we, there's a equality among the genders. The women's movement has a direct link to the sports world. According to Johnson, the framework of gender inequality and women's experience in relation to men's is merely a construction and is lived out by both men and women athletes every day. I think that at a youth level it's encouraged more to play uh, for boys to play sports at an earlier age. It's more of the norm for boys to sign up for sports and then girls you kind of have to talk them into it if they're not. It's not by default, whereas boys it is. You know, guy athletes, or like it's okay for like guys like be like playing sports all the time, mm -hmm. but like for girls like that's not like oh you're like kind of like a tomboy like that's not what you like girls should do. Kind of. Crane identifies two cultures of the sport world, one that is suppressed by hegemonic masculinity, and one where femininity is exaggerated by women athletes, contrasting the natural athletic body and demeanor. Basketball's not really a feminine sport to the media. Like you could see a lot of probably like thinner, shorter athletes on TV, and the men on TV are usually the bigger, stronger, big muscle kind of athletes. As far as women's sports go, uh, a lot of it's a lot of sexy. Um, you know, you don't see the, the strength as much. There's definitely huge differences in the media. Men are supposed to be tough, you know, strong need to not care as much about how they feel. And focused on like their, I mean it's focused on their fitness but it's, it's focused on how that accentuates their assets whereas men it's like look at their numbers, look at their speed, look at their explosiveness and how that um, improves their game whereas women it's like okay look at her fitness and how good she looks. Cookie's long-term research on gender and sports in the media suggests a lack of coverage of women's sport and a lack of respectful, serious coverage of women's sport. Have athletes noticed this? But no one talks about all the rap sheets, all the other uh, football players who, you know, you know, shooting girlfriends or, you know, robbing people or just more violent crimes that you never hear those on the media. So, so as, a, as a female growing up, um, when I would ask boys, they'd be like, hey guys, come to my game. They'd be like, women's soccer, women's basketball, why would I go watch that? Uh, for the MLS of soccer, like, that started to become more popular here, but the, uh, the women's league uh, has not become popular. And like, the just like greatest players, like we have like the greatest players in the world and it's still like not as publicized. Well, I do feel like men's sports are like more su supported and stuff, definitely. Like, I felt like being here, like the men's basketball was like hugely like covered, but the women's basketball did really good too, but they weren't covered as much. Like softball did really well, but they weren't covered as much. So I thought like, Really, like they put more emphasis on like guys, like even the tennis team, like the guys had like a huge barbecue and for like senior day, and we didn't have. So I kind of thought that was kind of strange. Like, why don't we get like the equal treatment, like equal coverage? environment is going to be very structured in a way so I know what they're going to do. With women's tennis, I have to be more humanistic. So the big difference is, is the empathy that I have to, you know, in a situation, I have to be able to kind of 
understand where you guys are coming from, understand what's going on in your lives, and usually that will lead to better outcomes compared to dealing with more of those, like football and uh, basketball, which they have a, a lot of resources to keep them very structured. So it's more I just have to tell them what to do compared to you guys, which I kind of have to ask you what to do, or I have to treat it in such a way where it brings it out of you. That's the biggest difference I've noticed with depending on the sport and the gym. Think, Burton, and Parker found that there is a cultural shift to an increasingly gay-positive culture affecting all athletes' sporting experiences. Say if you like do something wrong, like early like a bad shot, like for soccer person, mm -hmm. it's like you're hitting it with your purse. And so like maybe that's like close to that, but like I don't see anything with like homophobia. Just kind of like from society, basketball, women's basketball players are usually always thought of to be gay. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there's definitely some players that I've played with that were gay, but not really any homophobia from coaches or teammates. Or anything. I had um, a few gay teammates in high school who came out to me. Um, before they were out in the open, and once they were out in the open, people were like, well, why weren't they better at sports if they're, if they're lesbians? Just living in Japan, like, you don't see gay people, like, it's not okay at all, and I was, like, not, I did not, like, know any gay people. Like, I came here, and when I went to my high school, like, there were so many gay people, and it, after this was, like, a kind of a, not a shock, but like it was like eye-opening, but I got used to it so fast. I don't think it's like a hard thing at all. I've never had a, like a teammate come out and just say, um, I'm, I'm gay, but I, I've never seen people on any of my teams be opposed to it. I guess I've never had it come up, but it, it seems like to me that people would be pretty accepting of it. I mean, especially if someone was just part of the team and normal guy, if it wasn't a harm to anyone else, which I'm sure it wouldn't be, then I don't think that whether you're gay or straight or whatever, you, like, I mean, that has nothing to do with your athletic ability. All right, so why does this all matter? As a woman and a student athlete, I'm so thankful I get the chance to be competitive, strong, aggressive, vocal, and vulgar. I am what I am, and I love what I do. And I think that as student athletes, we need to be aware of these issues and work to change them in our daily lives.